Hi, I'm Jennifer. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm glad you came by. I hope you stick around. If you are a returning viewer or returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. I always appreciate it. I thought it might be fun to just go through maybe not all of my eyeshadow, but the majority of my eyeshadow palettes and kind of show you what I have and give you my thoughts about them. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you don't, then don't watch. I'm probably going to have to put my glasses on and leave them on for the duration of the video because <laughs> I'm kind of blind when it comes to reading things. Let's just jump in, shall we? Let's do this. Okay, these are in no particular order, but you will notice that the vast majority of my collection is drugstore makeup. I don't buy a lot of high-end products. Um, I just, I don't, I don't know. I think for some things it's worth spending a lot of money on, but other things maybe not so much. You know, why spend a lot if you don't have to? You know, kinda. Anyway, my husband would agree with me wholeheartedly. Let's start. All right, I'm just gonna start grabbing things. This is a little palette from Hard Candy. I love this part. I probably bought it because it's got this green faux leather thing. Surely I wouldn't do that. I have not used it very much. Every single color is shiny and sparkly, but I do like the colors. I like looking at them. I've used used it some. Um, as I recall, I haven't used it in a while. From what I remember, the pigment's pretty good. It's really reasonably priced. I like this one. Next! We have the Naked Smoky Palette by Urban Decay. I was so excited to finally get this. I wanted it for years and years, and then it finally went half price, and I bought it. And then I realized why it was half price. These colors are stunning. Just, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. But this is not typical Urban Decay quality eyeshadow. I don't know why it's different from the other Urban Decay palettes that I have, but it's hard to blend. Um, the colors, some of them are not very pigmented at all. I do love it. I'm, I, I like having it. I'm glad I have it. If I went back in time and knew th what I know now, I probably wouldn't buy it. I would have saved my money for another palette. Next up, we have the Cargo Around the World palette. I got lucky on this one. I found it at TJ Maxx, and it was really inexpensive. I haven't even taken the plastic off the mirror yet. Um, but these colors, these colors are beautiful. They speak to me. I, they're, they're all very neutral. There's very little shine and shimmer in here, but they blend beautifully. They wear beautifully. I love this palette, and if I ever find more cargo palettes at the price that I got this for, and I think it was like $6, maybe $8, I would definitely buy another one. Next, this is dusty. <laughs> This is the Death by Chocolate palette from Makeup Revolution. This is a hit or miss palette. The colorways are gorgeous. The pan sizes are very generous. Um, but the blendability between each shadow varies. Some of them are fantastic. Some of them are not so good. When it was new, it smelled like chocolate. I've had it several months now. And yeah, it doesn't smell like anything anymore. That's disappointing. I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for the chocolate bar by who made the chocolate bar. Too Faced, I think. Um, I do like it. I'm glad I have it. It was reasonably priced. I do reach for it occasionally. Next, we have the Winterberry palette by Coastal Scents. Shannon Moody on YouTube did a video on this, and it was so pretty on her, I had to go get it. Um, again, this one was very reasonably priced. I got it on Amazon. The mirror in here is amazing. You're going to see a lot of stuff in the background that's weird, but look at the size of that mirror. But more importantly, these colors are lovely. I live for purple eyeshadow. I love it. It makes my green eyes look really green. Um, the downside to this is that it's almost all kind of frosty, sparkly things, so you can't really get a full look from it. But I do like the shadow. I like the quality. Love the price. I'm glad I bought this one. Another Coastal Scents. This is the Coastal Scents Revealed palette. Also bought this one on Amazon. It is a dupe for the Too Faced naked, I think three, so I hear. I don't have that one, I can't judge. It does not have a mirror. I don't care about that, other people seem to. But these colors are lovely, they blend well. Um, I haven't found a single color in this palette that I don't like. Not all the colors, the colors themselves are great on me. Some of them are a little bit warm, but I love this palette, I'm glad I have it. It was well worth the 
ten dollars or so that I spent on. This is dirty and that makes me sad but this is the first high-end palette I ever bought. This is the Makeup Revolution, what is this called? Nine Artist Shadow Palette. Oh, this is, the, this is so dirty, I'm embarrassed. Uh, but you can tell it gets used. I use this a lot. I used it a whole lot more when it was new. I haven't reached for it as often lately, but every color in here is beautifully pigmented, blends like a dream. I would love to have more Makeup Forever shadows, and someday I will. That was a limited edition, I believe. I don't think you can get it anymore, but I know that they have similar colors still available. I can hear my son's birds just going nuts in the background. Let's all pretend that's a happy sound, because I think it is. They're very cute. They're very funny. They just play all day. Next up, ugh, I regret this one. I do. This is the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas Palette. Um, when I purchased this, I was really, really loving the Laura Lee videos and her makeup things. Um, just on a personal note, I don't love her like I used to. She just seems kind of like she's phoning it in a little bit lately. That seems mean. I'm not judging her, but she's not as animated and fun as she used to be to watch, at least to me. The colors in here are almost all warm colors. I don't like that weird mirror, but again, I don't use the mirrors. Um, they are pretty to look at. I do reach for this one occasionally because it was a little bit expensive for me. I don't usually buy high-end palettes. Um, the quality of the shadows is hit or miss. Um, I just, I if I could go back in time, I wouldn't buy this one. Uh, next up, the second, quote, high-end palette I ever bought. It is the, one of the Naked Minis. It's the Naked 2 Basics. I actually bought this for my mom first for Christmas, and it is all matte, all neutral, beautiful, and I have used it to death. I am probably going to hit pan in a couple of these colors, and I almost never, ever hit pan. This was worth the money. I would buy this again when it's empty. I love it. I reach for it all the time. What's up next? This is one of my newest ones. This is the... So it's, yep, Coastal Sense again, Passport to London. They have several of these. If I was not on a buying freeze, I would buy more of them. I don't need them, so I'm not going to, but these are lovely. Um, the pigment is a little hit or miss in some of the colors. The silver shade in there that is straight up loose glitter. I got it all over myself and in my eyes. I'll never use that shade again without glue, but I do like this little palette. I like the colors. I'm glad I bought it and it was cheap and it was worth the money. All right, a wet and wild little purple one. I bought this, I think, last week. It was on clearance. I think I paid about three bucks for it. This is nice. I like it. That pink intimidates me a bit. Um, let me open this so the glare is not on it. That's a hard color to wear, but I think my next Why Not Wednesday is going to be with this little palette, possibly, and trying to figure out a way to wear that pink without... I don't know. I think I'm going to try it. I like this one. It was absolutely worth the $3 I spent. Um, I have two of these. These are the, the Maybelline City Mini. There's a glare. These are the Maybelline City Mini palettes. I have, what do I have? Concrete Runway, which is the blues and purples. I've used this a lot. That blue, that Frosty blue right there is gorgeous under the bottom lash line. I love that. And then this one is the Chill Brunch Neutrals. I've also used this one quite a bit. These were inexpensive and um, Walgreens and CVS and Ulta do Maybelline buy one get one half off all the time. If you've been curious about these, I love all of them that I've used. There's a couple of colors in there that are a little less pigmented than the others, but it's, you know, eyeshadows just like that. I do like these. I'm glad I have them. What's next? This is the Wet n Wild Aw Naturel palette. I've done I've done a video on this one before. I keep looking at the monitor and not the camera. I apologize. Um, I'll try not to do that anymore. Anyway, this is a great little palette for what I paid for it, which was probably five or six dollars. It was absolutely worth it. I reach for this one constantly. If you've been thinking about using any of these little Wet n Wild palettes, um, absolutely try them. They are worth the money. Next, I'm going to try and open this one and hope that it doesn't go crazy. This is the Glam Metals by Crown makeup that we got in last month's BoxyCharm. It's beautiful, but mine arrived broken. 
and I am waiting I'm not using it right now because I don't know if they're gonna want me to return it and I would not want to return something that I had used I feel wrong about that so um, but this is pretty and hopefully they'll give me something soon so I can maybe do a video with this because I like it what next I have two of these small elf palettes um, what do I have this is the mad for Matt. I'll tell you what right now my complaint with the elf palettes they're nail breakers to open. This is the Mad for Matte. It's a mix of warm and cool colors. I use it some. The pigments are nice. There's just, it's just not anything special, but if you needed a full matte palette and didn't want to spend a lot of money, this is a good one. It's just I have these colors in other palettes already, so I don't reach for it that much. The other one I have is called the Everyday Smoky, and this one looks pretty much like that Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Colors are about the same. Gotta tell you, pigment here is better. So if you love the Urban Decay, is it Urban Decay? Yeah, Urban Decay Smoky Palette, but are concerned about the quality, go spend the 10 bucks and get the e.l.f. Again, Everyday Smoky. This is a great one. All right, all right. I'm getting a big stack next to me. This is the Sleek Makeup. I bought two of these. There was a gift set that they did at Christmas. And then after Christmas, or maybe I think it was Christmas Eve that I went into Walgreens for something and they had the gift sets um, half off. So I got these two. I have the Vintage Romance, which is, I can't seem to open anything today. These pretty colors. Both of these palettes have a fantastic little mirror if you care about that. They're very generous, you can, very generously sized mirrors. Um, I've used this several times. You can't get a full look from this. They're all sparkle, shimmery, shiny colors, but the pigment is nice. The colors are beautiful. This was well worth it. The other one I got was the Gleaming in Gold. I have not used this one as much, but the colors that I have used, I have really enjoyed. The pigment's beautiful. They wear well. These sleek makeup, apparently, from what I've seen on the internet and from my limited experience with these two palettes, sleep makeup is nice and the palettes are really cute. Okay, this palette I use all the time. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Palette. It is the Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade. I am told it is a dupe for the Kat Von D Shade and Light. I don't know if that's true. I don't have that one. But if I can get this open, again, I can't open anything today. Let me just show you. These colors are gorgeous. Obviously, the two colorways on the e either end are pretty warm. I have not used them very much at all. But those three colors in the middle, I use pretty much every day. If I'm not doing a video trying to try something new, if I'm doing my ordinary everyday eye look, this is the palette I use. And that taupe right there, actually on my skin tone, works as a contour shade on my cheeks as well as a transition shade on my eyes. This was worth the money. I love it. All right, getting towards the end now. This is the Winky Lux, what is this called? The Kitten Palette. This cracks me up. I was reading the back. It says, the perfect palette for prowling about. I don't know about all that. But it is cute. Um, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today in conjunction with the next palette. This is, haha, -ha. see, I will shoot a link to the, no, I won't shoot a link. I will put a link to that video if you're curious about how I got this look in the description box below. But these are the colors. Um, again, this one doesn't have a mirror. I've seen people complain about that. I don't care about that. I use my regular mirror. This is a fun little palette. I'm glad I have it. And again, it came from BoxyCharm, so um, I was going to say I didn't pay anything for it, but I do pay for BoxyCharm, but you know what I mean. Don't question me. Last one. This is the Blink Electric Eyes Palette. I also am wearing this color, this palette on my eyes today. I'm using the pink and the palest gold. Um, I have not used this a lot, but I've used it more than I thought I would. These colors are super pigmented. They last a really, really long time. Um, I, I like it. I'm glad I have it. It's one of those palettes that I would never in a million years have bought this, but because I got it in BoxyCharm, I've used it. I'm glad I have it. Okay. I think that's about it. 
If you've been shopping for new eyeshadow and couldn't really decide what you wanted, maybe this was helpful to you. I hope so. I so appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch. It means a lot to me. If you have not yet subscribed, I hope you will consider doing so. It is so hard to say that with these things in my mouth. Ah! Anyway, please subscribe. It would make my day. If you like this sort of video and what would like to see more of little palette collections or things like that, or if you just feel like being a nice person, give me a thumbs up, shoot me a comment below, let me know some things you'd be interested in seeing. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.